Life Pro, your leader and head of health and wellness. And today it is all about cupping strategies for you, your family, and your friends. We're streaming live right now on Facebook and YouTube. So if you could give me an idea where you're listening to, I'd love to be able to give you a shout out uh, for giving us your time. I know time is one of those things that you can't buy back. So we are truly grateful that you can join us for this special opportunity. Today, I have a few extra guests to help me with teaching some of you guys how to utilize our new Relieva Cups. And uh, behind me, we've got Jennifer, who has been a client of mine for several years. And she is, how old are you? 37. She had to think about it. That Almost means she's getting older. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she's just wanting to feel younger like all of you, right? So I forget how old I am most of the time. Because once you grow up, you can never go back. So why do you have to grow up, right? So uh, Jennifer is an avid enthusiast in running, and she has been training for a mini marathon and is rather sore today. She has never seen the Relieva Cup by Life Pro, though she has been in to experience the magic with Amber. So uh, you're going to get to see her first reaction with using this new cupping product that we just launched last week. Uh, and then behind me, you can just barely see his head back there. Give a little shout out to Scott back there. How old are you, Scott? 57. He didn't have to think about that because it's on his mind. 57 is his age. Um, and he is just dealing with those aging, aching pains. And uh, that's why he's back there in the Axis Pro Boots, experiencing some extra blood flow, extra relief before we start separating layers of connective tissue and fascia and really starting to uh, restore and experience how good we can truly feel as we are continuing to deal with the everyday stressors of life, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. So uh, without further ado, if you have not watched the original launch uh, last last week with the Relieva Cup and Relieva Cup Pro, you can go back and learn about all the different things that you can do, um, how the cup operates. Today, we are going to be featuring specifically the Relieva Cup. And what I want to make sure of, uh, we were talking about, so this charges with the USB port, so we are fully charged, ready to rock and roll. But anyhow, I talked to you guys last week that we were launching a new pro version of this cup, and I am so lucky that I get to experience playing around with the sample. And so, unfortunately, these are not launching just yet. Um, I'm tweaking uh, the, the manual a little bit and trying to give you guys the best opportunity to use these at home. We're dealing with more of a supply demand issue. So we're trying to wait until we have everything in place so that when you get your Relieva Cup Pro, that you can take it out of the box and get it working immediately. It has a lot more complexity as to how the controls work. This one has blue light and red light creating that purple light effect. Um, the, the original Relieva cup actually has red light therapy as well with vibration. Uh, this one's got more levels of intensity, different types of massage modes, um, double the price. And again, uh, it's not available for purchase just yet. I don't have a specific launch date for that, but just wanted to give you a heads up that we're going to be doing today's episode specifically with the Relieva cup that is available for all of you right now. Uh, right now, $49.99. If you go to the life pro website or you go to Amazon and if you type in the word AMBER1010, um, all caps, A-M-B-E-R, one, zero, uh, it'll knock off a little extra money at the end and um, you can get a really, really good price. But I just want to share with you, um, I've been using these types of cups for a couple of years. Uh, one of the original companies that came up with this concept a couple of years ago, uh, they sell the exact same cup for started at about $275 just for one cup. And now I think they've got their price down to 160, 175. I'm not going to name that company, but ours are just as good, if not better. So $49.99, easy on the pocketbook, great stocking stuffer, great surprise gift for those in your family that are loved, uh, that are feeling extra aches and pains. Or maybe you're just one of those individuals who does not want to have to go to see somebody like me or a physical therapist or a chiropractor or uh, you know, get massage, you can actually do this all from the convenience of home. And so today's series is all about sharing with you how to use this um, with little or no uh, education or practice and how to go about changing the controls on here. So with this one, uh, you can see that the C port plugs in on top, USB goes in whatever kind of um, plug in on the wall that you want to use, or maybe you're using a, an external uh, power bank, but we're going to push the power on button and immediately you start to see the red light um, effective. So if you decide that you don't want that red light therapy on, you can actually shut it off, but this does have three different massage modes. 
once you turn on the massage mode, you cannot change the timing. Um, there's no timing control on this. So if I remember right, I've got my notes out here, 20 minutes, I believe. 20 minutes is auto shutoff time. So do you have to use this in the same spot for 20 minutes? No, we don't want you to do that. I would leave it in one spot for five to 10 minutes. If you're new to cupping, let's just give it two to five minutes and see how your body adapts and adjusts because we do not want to create any blisters. Those are not fun. But you're going to see red light comes through and, and the different LEDs on the bottom. And then on the top here, you've got three different color codes. Our green is our mode button. And again, we got three different modes of, of uh, suction available. And with the suction, you can also change the intensity of how much red light and the vibration. So you're getting vibration, suction, red light therapy, all in one packaged little product here. Best yet, if you decide that you're wanting to use a different size attachment, this just pops off, okay? And then we have our, let me go back here and turn this off for just one second. We have a hygiene filter that goes in there. You're gonna get in your box extra hygiene rings that you can switch out there as often as you need to. And then again, you get a different size attachment for here. So if you're using it on a small area versus a large area, uh, very, very user-friendly and interchangeable. So it makes it very, very convenient. So we're going back into here and gonna power that bad boy back on. And we've got, again, now we're in our, we've got everything automatically lit up by default. And so when we're looking at the different buttons here, we have our type of vibration and our intensity of red light. So red for red light. So if you push that button once, everything clicks off. That's level one, level two, level three, fourth is power off. So that's your, that's what we call our heat function, okay? Then we also have the intensity of vibration is our blue, okay? And so you can push that little button there and you can change how much intensity you feel with vibration as we're creating the suction feature, okay? So very, very simple. Uh, the Relieva Cup Pro is a, quite a bit more complex. Not a bad thing, just sometimes simple is better. So um, if you are new to cupping, I'm going to highly recommend that you stick with the simple. Again, $49.99, super, super cheap compared to other competitors. And remember, lifetime warranty. So customer service is top notch. If you have any trouble, you can reach me personally through DM or you can text me. And if you're having trouble con uh, connecting with our customer service group, then I will push it up the channel and we'll get you taken care of ASAP. So you're guaranteed with that. Our customer service is awesome. So that's how the cup is. Um, I want to go through really quick and then share with you exactly a little bit of insight about cupping because we talked about this last time. I'm not going to go into the deep uh, methodologies and where it originated like I did last time. So if you want more information about that, go back and rewind from last week's episode. This is connective tissue, fascia, and muscle, okay? When we do a lot of the same motion all the time, we have to make sure that we're keeping this tissue healthy and um, vibrant, if you will, quality of life. This connective tissue, this white film, this white web, we're gonna call it, on the outside, imagine that it is dipped in jello and is covering your entire body, every single muscle fiber, tendon, ligament, anything but bone and blood is connected within this, okay? And as we train or we perform or we deal with a lot of emotional stress because it stores in that system, or if we aren't doing enough, we're sitting on our butt all day, every day, then this starts to regenerate and starts to fuse itself, creating a real random patch. And if we don't mold it in the way that we wanna use it, then it just kind of takes on a life of its own, which is what causes pain. So you can actually feel instant relief and feel a lot less tension by just knowing how to tap into this system, which is our fascial connective training tissue. So we've got, um, when you do too much of a good thing or not enough of a good thing, we have the web that starts to create these little adhesions, okay? So if you happen to think that you have cellulite, I got news for you. It is this web taking over your body and fusing it to your adipose layers and then to your skin layers, which makes it look all dimply. But the cupping device actually has the ability to smooth that out and make it look a lot seamless, a lot more seamless, less dimply, no, not, not so much like boulders or scars all over your body, but just nice and smooth. Not quite as smooth as baby's butt skin, so don't go there with me, but you know what I mean. Uh, if we can age backwards, why not use some of the resources? And so uh, I talked to you last week with the shoulder. We've got lots of web in our shoulder. There's like four different angles of webbing coming in from different areas of our body. And so the shoulder, a lot of times, is 
one of the top sources of back pain and hip pain. And so I'm going to show you how to utilize the cup to open this up while we're going through some movement patterns. Uh, yes, you can move with the cup in place as long as you've got a good degree of suction and you've got some kind of a barrier that really helps to keep the cup in place. Um, again, I'll, we'll get into some of those details. And remember, any of you that have low back pain where this is white, it takes 3,000 pounds of force to stretch that out. Not meant to do that because it keeps our spine put together. So we don't want to force that. What we can do is take tension off of it because it is a tension channel. And if we get too much tension on that channel and we can't move the way that we're supposed to between our shoulders and our hips, that's when our body starts to hurt. So we actually release this tension by accessing into the red oxygenated muscle fibers. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So you're gonna notice if you use the cups around in any of these areas that are red, you're gonna see darker circles when you pull the cup off. It is not a bruise. We are just plunging the junk in the trunk, right? Like using a plunger in a dirty toilet, clearing out all the crap so that you can flush it with clear water. Body does the exact same thing. And we're giving you the concept of the plunger right here. So that's how that works. Red is good place to cup low back in the white yes we can cup there you're not going to see the same discoloration elsewhere you will feel relief so i'm going to show you how to do that as well last but not least this is what it looks like when we're using other types of cups you're going to see lots of dimples that means you're accessing the right areas that it can be causing restriction of how our muscles are able to twitch shorten and lengthen so if you see a lot of these dimples when you are putting your cups on, that's perfectly normal. We want, we want you to feel safe doing that. That's what it looks like. And then when you take them off, you're going to have little red circles or different colored circles of some shade of red or pink. Um, and, and it's different for everybody. It, it's not specific to whether you are dark skinned or light skinned or whatever ethnicity you come from, whatever your race is. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It has everything to do with how much stagnant blood flow you have in that space and how much blood flow you're coming into that space. So flushing out, surging in with new. So what we have to be careful of though, and one of the risks I want you to be aware of is that we can blister. So if we do blister, okay, then it's too much suction, it's too long, or you need to create a barrier or turn off the red light therapy. Anytime that we create heat within a space, the heat has to dissipate someplace. And our skin is our greatest detox organ. So our skin is really good for eliminating extra stuff. But when there's nowhere for this stuff to go, then it creates these pressure blisters, okay? Do not pop the blisters if you get one because it's an entry for infection. It creates an open wound now. But if you want to allow them to drain themselves, you're just gonna take a gauze pad or a Band-Aid, put it over the top, it will drain itself. And then that extra cover of, of skin that you have there that has dissipated from the pressure becomes the permanent Band-Aid until it heals over. So if you get the pressure blisters, it's not a scary thing. In fact, if you go to Asia and you work with, um, you know, traditional Chinese medicine, this is a good thing because it means we're getting crap out of your system. Okay. So, um, uh, Mrs. Clark, I'm seeing on here that, uh, is the relieve a cup pro out. It is not out yet. Um, I talked about that at the very beginning of, of the, of the series today, and, uh, I don't have a specific launch date for you, but we are working on it. It's just a supply demand problem. Um, we have plenty of the Relieva Cups in stock available and sending those out immediately. The Relieva Cup Pro, they have not given me an official target launch date because we're making some adaptations to the manuals um, so that you are getting the up-to-date safety information and all the tips and tricks to get the best out of that product because it is a much more complex cupping system than our Relieva Cup. Um, Latrice, when it comes to being uncomfortable, it actually doesn't feel uh, as bad as it might seem. Uh, typically when you have the blisters the next day, it almost feels like a mild sunburn. So my recommendation, um, even after you use the Relieva cup is to take some peppermint oil and graze it over the skin because it helps to soothe down the histamine response and it kills the itching pretty fast and it creates a cooling effect. So, um, not to worry if, um, the cool part about knowing is if something is uncomfortable is you can disengage the cup immediately if you start feeling uncomfortable, but we're not gonna be leaving them on long enough to create any type of blistering from that standpoint. But what can happen is the red light therapy 
can um, create a response. So if you want to do a skin check on yourself and you want to do it, it talks in the manual. If you already have your relieve a cup, it talks about doing it on the inside of the arm. I'm going to tell you not to do that. We're correcting that error. Um, I would do it more on the outside of the arm because the inside of the arm is a vulnerable area for those who are healthy. So we don't want to uh, do a skin check on the inside of the arm. Let's make it on the outside of the arm, or you can do it on your thigh um, because you're going to get a better idea if you're ultra sensitive to those. Now, remember, if you are taking antibiotics, if you are taking certain medications that are sunlight sensitive, you want to turn the red light therapy off because it will actually create more inflammation. Um, if you're taking a medication that interacts with it, there's an interaction there. So if you're taking a medication, specifically an antibiotic, or if you're taking um, Accutane or a retinol product for uh, your face, it still is in your system. So make sure that you know that there are certain medications or topicals that interact with red light therapy. And if you are one of those individuals using that, we wanna make sure that you are turning the red light therapy off so that you um, can feel the relief of the suction and the vibration. Uh, my sister's had a hip replacement. Can she still use this? Absolutely. As long as you have cleared with your doctor to have scar tissue work or massage to that area. Uh, we wanna make sure that you're at least four weeks post-op on your uh, incision because we don't want to separate that incision, not a good idea, um, but it takes about four weeks for that tissue to regenerate, for the seam to completely seal shut inside and out, whether you got sutures or not. Um, we don't wanna create more stress to that area. So if you uh, ha have somebody who has had a hip replacement, um, make sure you clear with your physician to do massage to that specific area. And then also remember, you don't necessarily have to go in the area where you've had the hip replacement. You can go directly into the glute or into the quadricep, the thigh muscle, because the area that you've had the hip replacement actually creates just as much trauma and pulling on other surrounding areas. So a lot of individuals who have a hip replacement will actually have pain in their back or they'll have pain in their booty or they'll have pain on their thigh because it pulls from the connective tissue that's associated with that. And the worst thing you can do to your connective tissue, your fascia is to cut it. But some people, we have to do that in order for them to be able to be mobile. So this is how you can biohack into your system and feel great in the process. Now, you're going to end up with these lovely beauty marks, battle wounds, um, brag, brag tags is what I like to call them. A lot of the athletes and individuals that I work with, they love showing these marks off. And it's funny because if somebody posts a photo on social media and they have a lot of them, like, oh, you've been to see Amber because Amber does blanket systemic cupping. So yes, you are going to see some of these dark colored circles, but they're different on everybody. So don't freak out if some colors look really, really different and others deal uh, look a little bit more white or no discoloration at all. It's okay. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It just means your body is responding. And that's exactly what we want. Everybody is different though. So just remember that um, when you are going through the process, because remember, if you mentally don't think it's going to work, you can biochemically change whether it actually works or not. So give yourself a good chance. Now, we don't have to worry about this with Jennifer, but we do know with Scott that he has got hair, okay? So if you have hair, you're going to have to make sure so that you don't have to shave. We're not going to use the manscapers on Scott today. We're going to use Abilene as an emollient, okay? Now, that is what cupping looks like on somebody who has a lot of extra hair. And the problem is we want to be able to get as direct contact with the skin as possible so we can create that latch on and pull apart because that's what allows the healing to take place. When we use petroleum jelly or anything is oil-based, it is really hard to clean your cup. So if you're wanting to use an emollient or a barrier, I like to use Albaline. And Albaline is a rinse-free uh, water-based skin cleanser. It's a moisturizer cleanser. And I actually use it as a carrier or a barrier for when I do scraping, but also when I do cupping on individuals who are hair bearers. So um, fragrance and paraben free, good stuff. You can get it at your local Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, whatever pharmacy you want, about 12 to $15 for this canister. And it will last you quite a while. A little goes a long way. So um, can you post the link to purchase this product? Yes, Chelsea is on it. My backstage director, she's going like, to give you the link. And then that way, you know exactly where to purchase from. Now, if you've heard of other cupping uh, methodologies, this is what traditional fire cupping and wet cupping looks like. That's not what we're doing today. That's actually me in that picture. We're not doing that intense. 
Uh, you have to have a special certification and license to provide that. And we want to make sure that you have the resources at home to do something just as effective and to make you feel uh, great while you are actually in control. When you are in control of your treatment, it tends to work more in your favor, especially from a mental standpoint. Another example of two different individuals who have been cuffed, you're going to see marks are different throughout. Uh, these are both uh, semi-professional baseball players. And it just depends on where your body's holding on to the stress. And um, we, we don't tend to know that until we find it. Now, something that you can do, um, and I'm not going to do it when I'm working on Jennifer Scott just for the sake of time, but what you can do in order to get blood flowing to those areas that you're wanting to treat, get your handy dandy Life Pro Massage Gun out. Um, the um, Sonic LX is one of my favorites, and I also love our Dyna Mini. The Dyna Mini is super easy, fits in your handbag, briefcase, duffel bag, can take it on an airplane, can stick it in your, uh, your file cabinet at, at work. So if you get a little kink in your neck, you can just do it. You can actually use it on the road. I've used it while I've been driving before when I'm driving long drives. So um, if you want to use a massage gun and drive blood flow and loosen up that area, it's an easy way to be able to see on somebody where they're stuck or glued a little bit more. That um, connective tissue that we call fascia, if you can imagine it being dipped in jello and covering our bodies and transferring energy and tension so that we can move the way we're supposed to, when we don't move enough or when we're not hydrated enough, because it's 70% water, the rest is collagen and elastin, okay? When we don't move enough, that jello starts to transition into sticky honey. And then if we don't continue to work on moving or changing body position or hydrating and eating the right things, then it eventually turns to peanut butter and then it glues. And then once it glues, that's when we feel stuck and we can't move and we feel like we're carrying about 10 more pounds on our body than we actually are. So if you use that massage gun to slowly go over areas that you're um, trying to, to work with that you feel pain and just see where your body is a little more sensitive versus where it feels good, you're going to apply the cups where you're a little bit more sensitive. I personally like to cup the fascial connective tissue lines, the, the slings, um, but if you don't have a lot of cups to do that, it gets complicated. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to teach you today how to just keep it very simple, how to work on yourself. Um, in the manual, it talks about being able to use this for glide cupping. That's one of the changes we're making. It is near impossible to glide cup without causing extra pain. And when we're doing cupping, we don't want to cause any more pain that we really have to guard our mind with. It's okay for it to be a little uncomfortable because the body doesn't like change. And so I like to tell people, when you feel burning, uh, when we're doing the cupping, it is embrace that burning, embrace the fire because it is pain leaving your body and it's giving you a better quality of life. Vitality is entering into that space. However, if you feel sharp shooting pains or you feel pain that you have to really think about overriding, it's too much. So we don't want to push that hard. Okay. Super, super important. So glide cupping out. I wouldn't do that on these because the suction is so great. It's going to be really hard to grip and pull. However, if you happen to have other types of cups, um, we've got this glass cup that you can buy on Amazon, runs about 15, 20 bucks, and it has this bulb so you can change how much suction goes into the bulb and then you can drag it with an emollient or a carrier. You can also use, this is glass, you can also use silicone, so squishy cup, like my amber squishy ball, except it's a cup. And yes, you can glide and it's tolerable because you can change the pressure application. With these cups though, they're motorized. So I wouldn't recommend that you actually glide with them, even though the manual tells you that um, the first mode is made for glide cupping. I, I wouldn't, would not recommend that, okay? Now, when we talk about the different modes of cupping, super important, um, let me go back and double check, yes. So when we go back, we turn it on, again, three different modes of massage. Whoops, wrong button. Now we're on, okay. And um, again, when you've got the red light on, that means your red light is on, your heat is activated. Red light works really well for uh, regeneration of stem cells, collagen fibers, fine line wrinkles. Do not use this on your face. Do not use it on your neck area. Do not use it over your belly button or your butthole. Not cool. No orifice is allowed. And do not attempt to attach it to other parts of your breast area. Like it's not a nipple sucker. So don't go there with me, okay? I'm just calling out the obvious because somebody who buys this will be silly enough to try this just to make a TikTok video. And we are not responsible for the outcome. If you try and experiment with it, I'm telling you not to do that. So no orifices, 
no sensitive points with a lot of nerves. I know you're all laughing at me right now, but trust me, I have seen it all. I've heard it all. You do not want to have to go to the emergency room to figure out why your innards are now outwards. Okay. Cupping is a plunger. We do not want to suction out stuff. Do not use this as an adult toy. It is not to be played with. It is for pain relief. Okay. Um, okay. Now, when you turn on the automatic button, your default mode is going to be continuous intensified suction. Okay. When we do mode number two, two lights on, you're going to feel a pulsing and a release, a pulsing and a release. And then our third button is going to be an even deeper pulse and release. So there's three different settings, 20 minute default timer, cannot change the timer. But remember that if you have trouble with the suction, you just push the on off button once and it releases the suction so you can release it and then you can reposition it, push the button again and suction kicks back on again. To turn it off completely, we're gonna push and hold the button for a few seconds and now the whole unit turns off, okay? To change out the cup, pull it off, push it back on, that simple, okay? So without further ado, now that we've gone through this wonderful little tutorial on the do's and the don'ts and why cupping is such a great modality, it is my favorite, um, I'm gonna show you how to work with Jennifer. I'm gonna have her actually do it to herself, but I'm gonna show her how to do it, what to expect, how to feel for it, and then we're going to see how she does it to herself. Okay. Any questions, make sure and let me know. I'll be going back and forth. And in the meantime, um, if you already have your relieve a cup, feel free to get it out, play around with it. Um, would you recommend this product for, yes, for professional use. I am a professional. I use it every day. In fact, um, what I'm excited to show you, not, to, not, not only are we going to use one of these, I have four. So, if you are wanting to use it for professional use, make sure and buy more than one environment evens, not odds, okay? Um, I think four to six is a good number. And again, lifetime warranty, so it's worth your investment because your clients, your patients will eat it up. It's good stuff, especially over scar work. I have a C-section scar. I'm not gonna show you that today, but I will show you next week on an episode how you can work on scar release specifically. But today we're gonna to work specifically soft tissue in the muscle and uh, muscle tendinous areas, um, areas that are super sensitive. If you have certain areas or certain aches of pains that you're wanting to hear about how to strategically approach that, feel free to list here in the comment box um, what your ache or pain might be. And then I can give you some insight because I've been an expert cupper uh, for several years now. I started learning about cupping back in 2005 and have been immersing myself into the world ever since. I actually have my own cupping brand. Um, we do not sell those through Life Pro, but my own cupping brand, we've got, these are your silicone, your medical grade silicone cups. And then this is also a medical grade silicone, but it has magnets built into it. These are not motorized. These are all about creating maximal suction and being able to put lots of them all over your body. So when I usually use these, we're talking about 30 to 40 on a person at a time. Um, with the mechanical suction cups that we're going to show you how to use. Um, six is a good number for one body part area. So you're just going to work uh, on yourself and just putting it on, allowing it to relax. If you are not sure about your timer, use your phone, set a timer. If you want to try it for five minutes, for 10 minutes, start a stopwatch, whatever you need to do. But just remember, there's not a visual timer on the Relieva Cup. On the Relieva Cup Pro, there is a visual timer but you can't change the time because all of the modes are preset and there's no manual mode. So it doesn't matter whether you got a timer on or not because you really can't change it, anything on the time. So if you wanna make sure and keep track of timing, you can get yourself a, a kitchen timer, use your phone, um, use a stopwatch, whatever you need to do, but do keep track of the timing because we don't wanna keep the cup in the same place for 20 minutes at a time if you want other areas of your body. Um, major other rule, uh, rules, I should say, um, you're never going to cup over varicose veins. Uh, what are varicose veins, spider veins? I've got them all over my thighs. Um, you can see through here, you don't want to cup over spider veins or varicose veins because it messes with the pumps in the lymphatic system. So no cupping over varicose or spider veins, that's bad. And the other one is we don't want to use mechanical suction um, with these cups over a fresh bruise. Now, if you are somebody who's coming to see me professionally and you've had an ankle sprain and you got a lot of black and blue, we use these because we can control how much suction we can pump out of there. But with the mechanical cups over a bruise, you can't control the intensity 
um, and, 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 and glide out of there. So on fresh bruises, no go. Don't do that. Okay. All right. Without further ado, introducing you here to Jennifer. Um, we talked about leg pain, muscle pain. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is scooch over here while Scott is continuing to experience the Axis Pro Boots in the background. And if you're interested in the Axis Pro Boots, um, Chelsea will send a link so that you can purchase those. Got to have your water. Body is 70% water. Okay. Now, you can use a cream. You can use something like Icy Hot Biofreeze. This is Rock Sauce Cold. We've also got Rock Sauce hot. Um, I've got some other products that are um, what we call a topical analgesic, and you can use that, but just remember if it creates heat or if it creates cold, then it changes your neurosensory. So you can't necessarily feel exactly how much intensity of the pain you could be feeling beneath that topical. So I tend to use um, a, a topical that doesn't have any kind of extra uh, analgesics in it. This is just a straight up massage cream. Uh, and then, like I said, the Abilene works really good because they're easy to get off the cups, okay? So I'm going to start with this cream uh, with her. And in case you wonder what kind of massage cream I use, it's Amber Cream, A-M-B-E-R, from Massage Warehouse. It is my favorite. It comes with um, the, the one that I like is spe uh, specifically is going to have Arnica. Um, it's got Arnica and ginger in it. That's my favorite. Uh, you can buy them in little travel size containers, which I use on the go. Um, but yes, that's what I use in case you wanted to know. So we're just going to take a little bit um, and area that hurt. You said you had knee pain when you came in, right? Yeah. This knee. So we're not going to cup directly over a bony area. We're just going to rub area. And because she is a runner, other area that is going to be super intense, don't go there, is your IT band. Don't cup the IT band. Not meant to be cupped on, okay? So let's uh, make sure that we're getting into the major muscle belly. What causes knee pain in runners? Usually muscles that are too tight, and then it starts to place pressure on the quadriceps tendon, which then changes how the kneecap aligns and then turns into patella tendonitis. Doesn't feel good, especially with repetitive impact. And the older you get the harder it is. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of the big muscle belly. Why? Because you got you to clear out the junk in the trunk where you have the greatest pack of punch, the greatest impact, and that's going to be your quadriceps. So um, let me grab a towel as you're observing in the background. And when it comes to applying the cup, I try to make sure my hands are clean because you don't want to get gunk on the controls. A lot harder to clean those controls. I'm gonna bring you up close and in person so you can see this really, really close. As close as we can get. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, her knee is bent. If she were to have her leg out straight, it's going to feel different, okay? So we're gonna do this in a couple of different ways. We're gonna turn the cup on, pushing the power on button. That's your red dot. There we're on. You can actually hear it working. I don't have a microphone on today, so you can hear everything in the background, okay? You can see the red light is on. We are on three levels of intensity of red light and vibration, and we are in automatic mode. So as soon as you stick, as soon as you position it on there, suction begins. It's that simple, I'm not going nowhere. See, I'm, I'm tapping it, tapping it, not going anywhere. And what do you feel? It's stuck. It's stuck. It. It's stuck, she <laughs> says. It's definitely stuck. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. Okay, now what I want you to do, this is just getting started. I'm just going to have you raise your leg, straighten your leg out, and bend your knee. Just back and forth. You feel it intense? Mm -hmm. Much intense. It's a lot tighter. Yes. Now, if it gets to the point where it's too much intensity, and you don't like it there, then you can push the red button and it releases the suction immediately. Just make sure you have your hand on it for when it releases so it doesn't fall on the ground because we don't want to crack the cups. We're not warranting those cracked cups if that's on you. Okay? And then let's say that we're wanting to get a little closer to here or if she's got one super sensitive spot that we're wanting to use that red light therapy and vibration, we can actually apply, if you're a professional um, or you happen to have your own silicone cups at home, you can also put another cup in front of and behind. 
So I'm going to show you how to do that. And that way you can see this working collectively. That's one option. Now, what does that cup feel like compared to the other? That one's a little bit tighter, but I like the pulsating okay. part of it. So if you didn't hear that, when I used, no, you're good. When I used the inversion method of silicone cups, okay, these create a tremendous amount of suction. And here's the thing, this is a much smaller diameter, so it's going to create much more of a hot spot um, up here. She likes the feeling of the pulsation vibration going on. It changes the intensity of the experience. You're getting all the good um, with the mechanical of, of the power cup as you are with the smaller suction cup, but you get a little mental break from the intensity. Now, this is in mode one. So if we want to switch it up, that's our automatic, so it's our continuous. Okay. Um, when you push the M button, it changes the intensity of the, the massage and the, and the suction. So you can choose which one you like. If you have a preference one way or the other, it takes a little bit of time to get that feeling down. Yeah, that first one feels a lot stronger than the other ones. Yep. And me, reason being is because we're changing, it, it's an intermittent um, process. Mm -hmm. So you're going to feel a difference intermittently. So our um, number one is providing continuous suction. It is our default. So as soon as you turn on your cup and you apply it, you're getting constant. Um, when we're getting mode number two, we're getting a slow alternating suction, which is really good for relaxation. So if we still have a little bit of pain, but we're trying to get um, some calming so that we're not fighting that intensity, then mode number two is really good for just relaxing mode, okay? Yeah. Mode number three is gonna be a quick altering um, suction, so it's very quick in how it alternates um, and can be used for just about anything, but it's going to be what you want to use if you're not going for that relaxation mode, but you're going for therapeutic outcomes, but you cannot handle the intensity of constant suction. It helps to kind of break that sensitivity barrier. So what you can do, is go with mode three just to get started if you have a lot of intensity of discomfort and adhesions and, and stuck, gunked up, dimply tissue. And then you can go back to mode number one, which is constant suction, after you have dissipated the sensitivity between the surface with those with those neuro cells, those pain receptors. So does that make sense? I like number two. She likes number two. <laughs> okay, and why does it feel like now when you move your leg? It's a lot more relaxed. I feel like it's not as tight on there. Good. And we've only had it on there for what, two minutes? And you're already feeling relaxing effects? Okay. Awesome. A little bit more mobile. Okay. Now, why is it good to have two? Well, when we give a little love to one side, the other side wants a little bit of love double the time if you just have one cup. So I'm actually going to give her the cream. I'm going to let her put it on herself hands off with me, and I'm gonna let her show you how easy it is after never touching a cup in her life, how you can do it at home, easy peasy, okay? So we're gonna give you your cream back. You wanna take a little dab? How's those boots feel? Good. He's, he's seeing the, the pre-effect. He knows what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, do you think it's good to use the Life Pro system as well as the traditional cuffing system? Absolutely. Um, I sent a picture. Um, I can show you the picture that we um, did this last week. I worked with a gymnast, and she had um, pain here that was wrapping around, and I've done traditional cuffing with her. Um, I work on her about every two to four weeks. She's a level 10 gymnast going to college for a gymnastics scholarship, and there's just this pain that in her SI joint on the back side that wraps around to the front side, um, and tried a lot of different things. And last week I tried something way, way different. Something, it's an amber special, I call it, because I just made it up on the go. Um, but we used the new Reliva cup with my cupping system and she was completely pain free and has been able to continue to enjoy uh, her gymnastics training this week without the same pain that she came in with. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so you got uh, a good barrier there. And don't be afraid of it. It's just a cup. What's the worst thing you can do is push the wrong button. Same place. Yep. 
That simple. It's pretty easy, right? And she likes mode number two. <laughs> that was super easy. This one is fresh. This one's been on for a couple minutes longer. So this side is already going to feel different than this side will. This side's going to feel a little bit more intensity up front mm -hmm. as things are starting to break through. <laughs> oh, I hear you. I see you. You're so jealous. You're going to have to fly to Indiana and visit. She, I, I, I posted on, on social media yesterday. I needed um, two to three helpers today to show me some stuff. And there were a lot of people that follow our Life Pro uh, channel that were, were like, I, I just need to fly in and experience that. Yes, you need to come visit. We have a lot of clients that fly in and visit us. And we definitely take ownership in pampering you with a full-on experience and making you um, enjoy the experience and well worth the trip. So, okay. Now, do you want to attempt to put, it, to put the other cup on so you get an equal effect? I can try. Okay. But this one, you just flip. Flip and stick. Just a flip and a stick. Uh-huh. So you're going to position it, and then you're going to push down and pull the plunger. It has a little plunger on it. A little squishy. <laughs> little, little. So let's go ahead and have you swing to the side so they can see what this looks like from a side angle. There she is on a side angle. Now, what you can do is um, as she gets comfortable with using this, let me bring this up closer. You can still see Scott in the background with his little head popping up and he's having a great time. <laughs> um, what you can do is because when we're working the whole quadriceps line, you've got shorts on. What you can do um, is you can pull your shirt shorts up higher. You don't want to cuff anywhere on the crease of your thigh because there's too much blood flow that comes through there. So you can actually cup one more higher if you wanted to, or we're out, this is IT band area, but we can get up here into what's called the TFL tensor fascia lata, And we can actually cup up here because this is more red ridge fibers up top versus the white down here. So I'll leave that up to you, which way you want to go. Okay. We got two more to play with here. Two more of the exact same cup. And here is your cream. Wherever you're wanting to put them. It just creates an extra barrier uh, for the suction to work. Uh, when we are putting on the dry skin, it's too easy to break the skin, uh, break the, the vacuum. We're creating a vacuum here. So the vacuum is really, really important. Okay, so I turned the button on. And you're just gonna put it on there wherever you wanna feel it. You're gonna put it on there. She's like, oh my gosh! But guess what? You guys are on the same boat. With our skin. Go for it. Can't hurt anything there. And it's on. Boom, just like that. It's you wanna so repeat easy. it on the other side? And then you can actually lay back and enjoy it. <laughs> What's to lay back and enjoy, right? This is already fun as it is. Okay, so you're gonna power on, pushing the red button. Everything's on and then just stick it on. Just position and it immediately starts to work. So we've seen that. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my, my camera and bring it really close so you can see how much skin is actually being pulled up there. So bear with me as we go for a little stroll here because I know you all want to see the super, super effects. Okay. Now you can see the red light and you can barely see the skin here, but the skin is up against the red light. So the red light actually looks like it's in contact with the skin, but it's actually, there's a barrier there that protects it from direct contact. Okay. And you can see how deep a suction is there. You can see right here where her skin is pulling and that's where we've got an adhesion causing the knee pain. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And we're working it on both sides. So we're going to come back around here. Let me see if I can. Whoops, I know I'm shaky, shaky. There we go. So you can see everything working. Okay, so I'm seeing somebody on here. Miss Stephanie, you're asking what does this 
presentation help with? Cupping helps with pain relief, helps with refreshing blood flow. If you want to go back to the very beginning, um, I explained kind of the methodology behind it. If you go back to last week, I talked for about the first 15 minutes about the philosophy of cupping, the do's and the don'ts, um, and, and how it makes a difference. But if you have pain and you feel a lot of tension, um, <laughs> she wants to trade places with you. <laughs> um, it helps to open up the, uh, it helps to open up the lines of fascial connective tissue adhesions so that you don't um, get stuck in with stagnant blood flow. So it brings in fresh blood flow, but like I said, you're going to see some dark marks and those are not bruises. We're not beating the crap out of the tissue. We're actually separating it, which allows for flow in and flow out. Can you do this on your feet? Actually, you can. Um, you're asking, can she actually stand up with this on her feet? Actually, yes, you can. We could actually have her do some standing squats. Can you do it on the bottom of your feet for plantar fasciitis? Actually, yes, you can. But let me give you a little secret. This is a little amber tip and trick for you. Plantar fasciitis or heel pain is not a plantar fascia problem. You see the bottom of your foot is meant to generate 1,500 pounds of force. So if you're trying to stretch out the plantar fascia, you're trying to micro tear it, you're losing the ability to spring load your body forward in mobilization. So what do we do? We actually go to the calves. The calves is where the problem lies. If you have plantar fasciitis, get yourself some gel toe separators and put them in between your toes and separate and open up those joints because we have over 100 ligamentous junctions in the foot and over 25% of the bones in the human body are in the foot. Isn't that crazy when you think about that in perspective? So if you have pain in your feet, go to the lower leg, go to the calves. If you go to the shin, the shin has a very mild layer of, uh, of muscle and tissue. Uh, your anterior tibialis muscle uh, runs, I'm gonna show you here, runs right up here along the front. It's responsible for picking your foot up off the ground. Uh, that's usually responsible for a lot of shin splints, but you want to make sure that when you're doing this to the bottom of the foot without experiencing a tremendous amount of discomfort, that you're also working higher up the chain into your calf complex. Oh, you helped me so much with recommending those toe separators. I'm in debt to you. Nope, you're not in debt to me. Just share it forward and do something, an act of kindness for somebody else in the world today. And just think of me when you do it. Okay. So what we can do is we can start bending the knee back and forth because if we get motor activation while we're sectioning, it is like flushing the toilet while we're trying to unclog the toilet. So we're getting flush, fresh in, flush dirty out. Okay. So when you're motor activating, you're separating layers at the same time that this is creating extra suction to help in separating those layers so that we can get the bad out and get the good flowing in. Feels like they're going to fall off the ground. Feels like they're, oh, let me show you something here. Now you, you can see that she put them on, right? Okay, go ahead and relax. Come on now, let's go. I cannot pull them off, right? Am I putting a lot of force on? No. Oh, there we did. Okay, so what happens if it comes off? Don't let it hit the ground. Just stick it back on, and it's game on, again. and it's stuck right back in place. So if you don't want to push the suction off button, and you feel like pulling and tugging a lot, all the power to you, but I'm going to tell you, it does not feel good for me. Um, I've got fibromyalgia, so it actually hurts really bad if you pull on these, because we try to do some glide cupping to work more of that cellulite smoothness area out and it is not pleasant. So if you have an autoimmune disease that causes higher levels of inflammation and pain, I would be very careful with using these for dragging and pulling. We have autoimmune disease? Yep. What do we have? We have Hashimoto's and PCOS. PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, as well as Hashimoto's, which is related to the thyroid gland. So lots of inflammation, gotta flush the crap out, Flow the good in, okay? Regenerating the body, allowing it homeostasis, allowing vitality, quality of life improvement. Pain goes down, inflammation goes down, eliminating through the lymphatic channels. A lot of our lymph nodes happen to fall right here where we got these cups on. So awesome, awesome choice. Okay, so we've had them on for what? Maybe 15 minutes where we started the one, starting about 10 minutes on the other. So what we'll do is we're gonna take these off and I'm going to show you how to wipe them down so that you can use them among other loved ones in your household or friends and family and neighbors. 
Remember, if you are working on, if you're working on somebody other than yourself, make sure that they give you consent to touch them. Even though they're family, you don't have the right to touch them unless they give you permission. Yes, you can use this on an old scar from a lumbar fusion surgery. Actually, um, my buddy Lucas is having a new spinal fusion reconstruction. Um, he is got two rods in place right now. He's going in next Tuesday to have those rods removed and repositioned. So I will be happy to show you. He's coming in here on Thursday. I'll be happy to show you how to work on scars, and we can use that with him um, as we have showed him before on broadcast. So you know who Lucas is. He's paraplegic. And we're working on giving him another chance to be able to walk. Um, and so, yes, if you've had a lumbar fusion, yes, you can use this. I highly recommend it over the scars, but also recommend it over um, the sides of the scar. So we call the lateral sides uh, where your paraspinals are located because those go to pull on the neck area, but also in your butt. Because if you have a lumbar or spinal fusion, you most likely have a butt that's turned off. You got lazy butt syndrome. So if the butt doesn't get to move, then it starts to glue. And if it starts to glue, then it starts to hurt, which means your back actually has to work harder. So make sure if you're gonna do it with the lumbar spinal fusion uh, incision that you're also getting in the hips and in the booty, okay? All right, so we're gonna, these are the amber cups. These are not available to you for sale through Life Pro. So get those off of there. Now, in order to take them off, we just push the power button and it's that easy. Power button on. I like, oh, I'm loving the emojis with the lazy butt. Yes. So you can see it has cream all over it. Okay. We're going to take, this is just a Clorox disinfectant wipe. We're going to take that off. Okay. And we're going to wipe this off. If you have time and you have convenience that you want to stick this in, use some Dawn dish soap with a non-scratch pad. You can actually disinfect these using Dawn dish soap or um, some disinfectant spray, um, but you can wipe them off if you're traveling and you don't have access to a sink with soap and water, just a regular disinfectant wipe works great. And then you'll see on here, not any access to the red light. So just wipe that off really good. Make sure it's nice and dry before you use it on somebody else, but just wiping it off. And then we power off completely. Game on. And then don't forget to plug it in. If you've used it for up to four hours, it needs another couple hours to recharge, but you can use quite often um, on, a, on a single charge. And, and they charge pretty quick. So there's your unit. And just like that, it's clean. And then clips back on together. So go ahead and take the next one off on yours. Let you do that on your own. Awesome. And we're wiping the cream off. Now you can see on here that there is a cover and that cover protects the red light. Okay, so the little hole there, cover goes on. You'll never make contact with the red light in there. But if you want to clean this off really good, if you're working with other family members who have skin challenges, um, fungal, viral, bacterial, Dawn dish soap doesn't work alone. So make sure you use something that has the ability to kill anything and everything. Because disease control right now is very important. So we turn off so. Oh, 20 minutes. <laughs> it turned off all on its own. And so, fell off. And fell off. So <laughs> set your timer because you don't want to be just laying there and they go bloop and they fall off and then they hit the ground. Um, again, if you have trouble with your cups and they hit the ground, uh, that, that's how fast... That's cleaned up. So super quick to clean them up. But if you have trouble with them, make sure and call us, email us, and uh, let us take care of you because they do have a lifetime guarantee. And we might not be sending you a brand new cup system, but we might be able to send you replacement um, attachments. So everybody likes to have stick on attachments, right? Okay, so go ahead and move around while I'm cleaning these up and tell me how you feel. And if you show them your marks, show them your beauty marks, your battle wounds, as we like to laugh about. Those are cool factor. Oh, oh. Okay, here, no, we'll back it up. Backing it up. Okay, so there's your beauty marks. And then if you go to raise your legs up, what do you feel? Oh, it's so much looser. And we came in with knee pain. Yep. 
And what do you feel now? It's not really there. <laughs> no <laughs> knee pain, mind. and Amber hasn't touched her with magic hands yet. And this is still a tiny bit tight, but it's way better than it was. Okay, so what she was saying, what she was saying is that her, oh, hang on here, I'm caught. So when you start to move the room around a little bit so you can get a really good visual, we get stuck with our own cords everywhere. Oh, Scott over there is about to <laughs> yawn to sleep. So the Axis Pro Boots are, are kicking in. Okay, um, so what she was saying is she still has a little bit of discomfort here on the outside. That's your IT band insertion. If the IT band is carrying more tension, feels a lot tighter, we got to go right there, right there in the booty, okay? And I'm actually going to show you on Scott how to do a booty cuff. He's very excited about that. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. There you go. Cozy. There you go. We've got him in a zero gravity lounger, so he's truly enjoying the magic of the Axis Pro Boots. Um, anyhow, uh, if you still have pain, if you're a runner or you are having issues with pain here along the outside of thigh, you're going to cup higher into the hip, specifically into the body, into the, boot, the booty cheek. Um, we, remember, not directly where the orifice lies, but more here in the soft part. So if you go right here on the hip bone, it's going to be much more uncomfortable. Right here where it's soft, oxygenated muscle fibers, is where we're going to get the, rate, the greatest release of tension and pressure, which takes pressure off down here. This is all connected. All of it's connected. And um, yeah, so how do you feel? <laughs> oh, the facial expression is worth it. It's like relief. Relief. Somebody asked me about Crohn's disease. You can use cupping, um, but Crohn's disease, remember, is more of a nutritional deficiency problem in the gut. So trying to uh, cup for Crohn's disease is a little more tricky. Uh, because we're talking about our deep front line when we're talking fascial connective tissue, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Anytime I'm cupping somebody for Crohn's disease or autoimmune dysfunction in the gut, I always use the negative ion, um, the silicone cups that have the magnets because it changes the polarity of that tissue, but these are a lot more gentle, and once you get them into position and you can put them in soft space, um, they do better. I would not recommend using the Relieva cup anywhere in the abdominal region where your organs lie, unless it's down low where you happen to have a C-section scar or if you've had a tummy tuck. So if you've had a tummy tuck across here or you have a C-section um, scar, yes, you can use that in those areas, but I do not recommend using it through here in the stomach region uh, because there's too many other vascular structures that go on there. So. Um, C-section area, pubic bone, yes. Um, I will attempt to demonstrate something similar to that without showing you my stuff, but um, C-section, it just stick on there. And then the key is to lift and open up so that you're opening up this whole front line. It's not just the scar here. It comes from all, all the way up, okay? Okay, feeling good? Yeah. Awesome, go for, a, go for a jog out in the gym and tell us what happens when you come back. She's like, I just feel so good. I don't want to do any of that. No, no. I'm running tomorrow. So. There you go. She's running tomorrow. So we'll give you an update on how she feels with her run tomorrow. Because today she came in. She had put um, some kinesio tape on her knee for stabilizing because she was having a lot of knee pain. Legs were a mess. We didn't do any vibration beforehand. Mm -hmm. All we did was cream and cupping mm -hmm. and instant change. Yep. Life is good. <laughs> $49.99. For one, uh, for her, we used four. Yes. yes, two up high, two down low. If you just need two, you can move those two and just work them in different areas. So thank you so much for being here today. Appreciate your, your willingness to use uh, our products for guinea pig operation. I always <laughs> like trying, trying new things on people who have no idea what I'm talking about. I know, it's kind of nerve wracking. So what did you find out? What did you, um, what was your fear going into this today? Um, I don't know. I just didn't know what it was. You just said cupping in general. So and you've had cupping done yes. before. You've done that before for me for yep. plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. We've um, had that done. Yep. And that all 
went away. I don't have those kind of issues anymore, but I also clear glass regularly on my okay. and all that. So she uses the massage gun, mechanical vibration as a hyperstimulation to allowing the connective tissue adhesions to release so the muscles can twitch. If you don't have a massage gun, but you have a whole body vibration platform, get on your whole body vibration platform for 15, 10, 15 minutes before you cup, it is game changer. So I put all of my clients on the whole body vibration platform before I actually go through and cut them when I've got one handy. And it makes a huge difference in how the body works systemically at releasing and changing those tension channels and getting good blood flow in. Because remember, it's, it's also a detox tool. So if you're trying to get that lymphatic system upcharged and trying to eliminate the stuff in the system, uh, the vibration platforms on low level intensity, if you're later in the evening, in the morning, higher level of intensity, you kind of jumpstart that engine, and then you can do the cupping um, after you're after you're on uh, have had the vibration. So I've actually done cupping while individuals are on the vibration platform, but I've not used these yet with the vibration platform. That might be for another day. So <laughs> thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. We're gonna move on with Scott. We gotta get him out of the booth because he is very happy where he's at. <laughs> and the cups for you. Super easy? Yeah. After after yeah. all said and done? Way easier than I would have anticipated Go ahead. watching you with all those lights and buttons and stuff. It's intimidating, isn't it? It is. And then it turned into nothing. And now you're going to look forward to doing it at home. Yep. Awesome. Uh, your bricks are on your white. I got him locked in the chair. He can't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Now, this is Scott, and he has got back pain. But because he's been on the on, on the axis boots, there's also a detox lymphatic flush. He's using the potty because it works. <laughs> it works. It all works. Like life has got you. It all works. So, um, but we're gonna work on him specifically in that low back region. He has not had a spinal fusion, but he has had um, an adult uh, years. We're gonna say adult lifetime. So he's had a lot of challenges with sciatica and his booty, low back pain, and he's recovered from prostate cancer. So a lot of things going on, inflammation up, but you're gonna get to see how we use it on his back um, so that he can experience immediate relief without having to get on my schedule or to call somebody else for help. He's gonna be able to do this at home on his own or having a family member helping him. So while we're waiting for him, if you have any questions, um, I had mentioned earlier that when it comes to that deep front line, um, where we have, uh, if you have Crohn's disease or um, you've got your abdominal scars, this is the line that we're looking at, okay? Anywhere you see blue is high levels of adhesions, and so that's where your Crohn's disease comes into play. So when we are working the deep front line, um, you have to be really careful because it goes all the way to the spinal column, and, um, it can, and it actually ends in the roof of your mouth. So I don't recommend doing a lot of cupping around here with the motorized cups from Life Pro. But if you have a gentler cup or you can do glide cupping around your belly, um, it actually can help with constipation. It helps to eliminate. And if you go on YouTube and just look up uh, lymphatic cupping for the abdominal region, um, they, there's a whole series of tutorials that you can go online to learn that. I don't do a lot of that type of cupping. I do much more than negative ion cupping on the abdominals in order to open up scar tissue adhesions from people who've had surgery um, in, in the abdominal area or those who have Crohn uh, disease problems. Um, do you have a recommendation for this lighter cup you were mentioning? Um, are you asking for a brand of cups or are you asking for where to find them? Um, or are you asking for a technique? Because that's a totally different episode. Um, I just, I just buy them on Amazon uh, and, and look, uh, it'll say cellulite cupping and they come in different sizes. There's a couple of different sky sizes, but you want them to be made of silicone. Um, the ones I have here are made by Lure, L-U-R-E, are my favorite. Okay, Scott, you ready? Yep. Okay, shirt off. He's going to flash us. <laughs> and you have back pain, correct? Yes. Okay, so we're going to have you lay face down. Oh, it's going to feel so good. And when you are working with somebody on their belly, in order to neutralize their back, we're going to make sure and put a leg lift underneath of their ankle because it neutralizes their pelvis and takes the pressure off of the low back. 
Um, anytime I'm working with somebody on low back, I like to drape um, around their, their um, sacrum, which is otherwise right around the line of your butt crack so that you can keep the cups and the goo off of the clothes. So it, and it makes it a lot easier to make access. So on our low back, we've got a couple of really prominent points that we can feel. We have our hip sockets of our hip girdle, which sit up high. And on the back side, we have these two little nodules. And on here, they're really pretty obvious to find them. There's a lot of a muscle, there are a lot of muscles that attach there. Those are really good for cupping. We can also get over here into the big butt muscle known as the gluteus maximus. The medius falls right underneath as well as the minimus. Um, so we can create suction. I'm going to show you how to do that. And we don't have to have his old butt cheek exposed. We're not going to do that today. Um, but we can just get part of it and get underneath. And then you have the shorts covering up the cup and it still works. So a lot of times I can still work on cupping individuals who have their clothes on. We don't have to have them undressed as long as they've got loose fitting shorts. We can just go right up underneath. I'm going to show you how to feel for some very prominent landmarks so that you know exactly where to stick those cups for back pain, hip pain, and sciatica. And there we are. Okay. And if you have questions, again, make sure you ask and let me know. If I'm missing anything, so we want to make sure that you feel safe trying some of these methods at home. I'm going to adjust our lights. Okay. Now, as you heard me mention, he has hair on his legs, but he does not have hair up here. So we actually don't have to use any kind of like the, the thick emollient. We can use regular cream. Um, but if you don't want to deal with the the cleaning up of cream or buying a cream. Like I said, the, the Albaline is a clear rinseless cleanser. And I just take just a little bit with a little scraper here because a little goes a very long way. And I use it just like that. So that's what it looks like, okay? And I'm able to get it off my fingers with just using a wet towel and you can get it off the body and off the cups with uh, a water-based cleanser. So we're just gonna go. Now, if you would like to put on the boots, you're welcome to put the boots on. So that's like the ultimate rush is being able to put on the cups, getting some blood flow, and then using the boots to flush through. So boots are awesome. So I'm just putting a very thin layer on here just to have something to create a barrier between the skin and the cup because it works better that way. Now, if we have back pain down here, a lot of times it can be coming from up here. So have your neck and shoulders been bothering you at all? Not too bad, no. Not too bad. Just the bottom half. Just the bottom half. That means it's likely in the booty. But we got plenty of cups to play with, so we'll just apply a little bit of all of them. It's like the ultimate demo experience for these guys. Okay, a solid question pop up, so let me double check what that question is. Can you suggest how we can apply the cups if we don't have anyone to help us? Yes. So I'm actually going to show you, I'm actually going to show you how I'm going to do it on him as if he is staying in this position. And then I'm going to show you that if I were home alone and didn't have anybody to help me, I'm going to teach him how to do that so you can see him actually apply them to himself. Um, is it, you're going to find that these are really cool. These are so much easier to apply to yourself because they create the automatic suction. As soon as you turn them on, you don't have to invert and try and, and, and pump and suck the air out of them. They're just automatic. So for him, he's excited about this. He has no idea what to expect. He's already been through cupping with me before. Um, so we're going to turn on the button, the power button. So everything is on and we're going to start him in mode number one, which is the highest amount of continued suction. Now on his body, his butt crack is about right here. If I go just right above that and to the side is where there's a lot of attachment points there for muscle and tendons. Okay. So through here, right here is a pressure point and up in here can be a little sore. Here's what's really cool is we can hit all of this with this one cup by itself 
and we can also get here in the hips. I will show you how I would work with him if he were my client for the day, for the hour. Uh, and I'm going to show you how he can actually do it to himself using his legs for motion to be able to open this up. Now, because we are elevated on a treatment table, we want to make sure that if these for some reason break section and fall off, um, that you've got something soft um, on the side of you to land on. So if you can lay on the floor, if you can lay um, on something that has a, a cushion space to, for these to land, because we don't want these to land like on a three foot drop on the floor because they don't, they don't do very well um, for that. So um, crack over to the side up just a little bit right there. That's all it takes. And now it's on. Okay, it's on mode one, which means it's continuously suctioning. We're gonna go another one, exactly the same, except I'm gonna do mode number two because I want him to feel a difference between one versus the other. So I'm tracing right above his crack. Don't get in the crack, right above the crack. Go over to the side, right there, already on. So the one on the right is mode number one. One on the left is mode number two. And then I'm gonna go up higher in his shoulder. It is mode number three and it's on. It's that simple, okay? And they're on good, not going anywhere, okay? And then the fourth one, I'm gonna put on his shoulder on the right and I'm gonna stick with one on that because it's more intense and the shoulder is a really important area. If we're trying to take tension off this area, takes 3,000 pounds of force to stretch that out, okay, then we want to make sure that we're pulling from up here that's oxygenated, blood-rich um, muscle fibers instead of connected tissue bands of steel. I'm not going to get the change here, so I'm going off to the side of where that, those bands of steel come together at a point, like a shield, and I'm going off to the side where the glute muscle comes in and transitions so that we can pull from that to take the tension off of the low back itself. Okay, what do you feel? Good. Can you turn your head to the other side? No. So he can still move. You can see his facial expression. He's not grimacing, no. not in pain with the cups on, okay? And they're very, very quiet. Um, I've had other um, devices very similar that are not as quiet, but you got a sleeping baby in the room or you got somebody who's ultra sensitive to sleeping and you want to lay in your room at night and just go through this right before you go to go to sleep it doesn't affect other people in the room from tv listening to music computing um super super quiet operation super easy to operate now the tricky part is if he's doing this to himself easy to get on He's gonna to have to finger the top of the unit in order to figure out exactly which button to push in order to, to re release it. And it's really simple. It's dead center in the cup. Dead center in the cup is the red power button. And all you're gonna do is find the cup with your palm, find the different buttons, and the one that sits right in the middle, right above the charge port, so you can feel a little gap there, that's the button you push in order to get it to release. And then if you wanna stick it on somewhere else, then it's super easy to do that. So you're good. Just relax there for a minute. I'm gonna wipe my hands off. And so I'm not seeing any questions popping up. Oh, I like to be hilarious. We all have to laugh. So now you can tell everybody today that you laughed with Amber because she was acting silly and it made your happy hormones go bonkers so that you could relieve that stress and we can laugh together. Okay, now, if he's on my table and I'm doing this to him, one of the exercises that I like to do is to bend the knee and then I like the leg to drape over to the side, okay? So we're just letting the, the and you can see his whole body is moving because he's stiff and this is internal rotation of the hip, so he doesn't like that. Where do you feel that? I'd say right there. He feels that on the outside of his hip, yep. okay? which for him happens to be a very, very tight area, okay? Now remember, he's had prostate cancer, so he's had his prostate removed, so he's got an abdominal scar, which influences his pelvic girdle, because anytime we have an abdominal scar, especially where um, organs were sitting inside the pelvic girdle near the pelvic floor, it automatically changes everything on the entire hip complex. So if we can create a little bit of loosey-goosey action here, by just getting the legs to rotate side to side. And we're just having him 
So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let his leg fall as far as he can feel comfortable with it going. And then he's gonna wave it like a windshield wiper back up to me. And he's just moving that back and forth. Do you feel that directly underneath the cup? Yeah. Can you do that? So we're, we're creating a glide there, okay? So we're creating glides. So if you have SI joint problems, we're creating a glide right on the SI joint, opening that joint up by using muscle action, okay? We're using muscle energy in order to be able to do that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. Yep, you got it. Which one feels easier? This side, Okay. Right side. So remember, whichever side is easiest for you, that's where you have more mobility and the idea is to have balance. So if we have easy on the right, hard on the left, we're gonna work double the left than on the right so we can take from the right to give to the left because we want equality, okay? Equality and balance is good on both sides. And you probably don't feel much heat, but the red light therapy is on. Now, if I turn all of these onto single mode where there's constant suction, I'm curious to hear what you feel, how you feel. So now all of all four are exactly the same. Just more of a solid pull. So a solid pull, lots yeah. of pulling. Okay. I'm going to bring you up close in person so you can see exactly what this looks like to the close eye. If you've got, you can see from an angle how the skin is pulling up near the red light. So it's really cool how it works. And again, very, very quiet operation. So you can see where the red light dots are. The skin is right there touching the red light dots, but not in direct contact with the red light because there is a barrier that protects that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the vibration off and I'm curious to see what you feel with all the vibration off. How does that feel as compared, oops, I forgot one. How does that feel? So there's no vibration, it's just suction and red light. It just feels like there's not as much pull maybe. Okay, like the pull? Or do you like it this way? I like the other way, because okay. more you can Kind of comes and goes on the intensity. Comes and goes. So that's level two. Yeah. And then level three. So super easy to switch them up all at once. So this is max capacity right here. Three intensities of red light going, three intensities of vibration going, and massage mode is, or the suction mode is constant, continuous. Good? And now, again, if I go to try and pull it off, we are not going anywhere. That glue's on. Okay. Now, to give him some, because I know his pain is down low, we're going to do a quick, a quick switch. So, took it off, and he's already showing coloration there. And we're going to stick it on down here, right in the paraspinals. So, you can see the marks, and I'll bring you up close in person with the marks here in just a second. So now we've got them all close together. So a couple of different ways that you can work with the back, but you're gonna see this is quite effective, very, very fast. So he's already got marks, blood flow is good. And that's what it all looks like together. Everything is working. You can see his skin just barely through those Shaded cups. They're just a little bit of tent to them, so you can't see through clear, but you can see where the skin comes up. It's just, it's almost like looking through sunglasses. Now, what I like to do as a therapist, as he is laying here relaxing, I like to get what's called a little bit of joint mobs in here. So I try and actually move these to the side a little bit, which takes tension off of all those muscles that are pulling. And we can do that because we've got constant suction going on. If we were to do intermittent or alternating suction, you can do that too. You just have to be ready that if you happen to break the barrier of the vacuum, that they're going to pop off. And you can see where everything draws back inward because of how much tension is there. 
How's that feel? Feels good. Feels good. And so I can hold him here with a little bit of a little bit of distraction. It's so like it's tearing the muscles apart. Feels like it's tearing muscles apart in a hurt so good kind of fashion. Yeah. But we're not going to be able to tear anything because there's not enough there's not enough destruction in these cups to do that unless we tried to lift and glide, which we're not going to do because we don't want to create glide. blisters. They're, they're not going to glide. They're not going anywhere. They're stuck. Truly stuck. So there's that. Now here's what I'm curious. Okay. I'm going to have him try this here because I'm here to catch. But what I'm curious to try is to have you come up onto your hands and knees and to move your low back a little bit. So I'm not going to touch these a whole lot. I'm going to see if he can tolerate it. But I'm going to guard them from the, yeah, there we go. And just from there, we're just going to rock back and forth towards your heels. So we're getting a deeper stretch. Yep, there you go. Perfect. So you can move with them on. We just, you need to make sure that there's somebody there to help in case they come loose. So that they don't fall off and break. But they're on there really good. You feel that even more? Yeah, yeah. It's a really good feeling. This is my favorite. And I love the fact that we're able to actually move with these on. Okay, so again, this is the Reliva Cup. Uh, came out last week, one to a package, $49.99 for each one. Right now we're using four to create the maximal impact for his session today. And we used Abilene, which is water-based, so it's super easy to clean off so it doesn't feel breezy getting out of here. Okay, now here's what I'm going to have you do. If you use your right hand, can you reach around and touch your booty? Got to have really good motion, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so can you feel the middle button? Yep. You go ahead and lift. There it is. He did it on his own. I'll take that one for you. Okay. Can you reach the one on top? Yeah, that's good. One more button down. Got it. Now here's the other thing. Stand in front of a mirror. You can actually turn around, stand in front of a mirror and do it, and it's easier. It's a lot harder when you're laying down because you he's chillaxed. He's like tapped out. <laughs> he's out of it. He does not want to move around because it feels so good. And he'll feel when it turns off, when he gets the right button. I'm not giving him any tips. I'm letting him figure it out. <laughs> One more down. Mobility on this shoulder is a little less, as you can mm. see. There you go. Yeah, there's that ring finger. And that's it. Good. That one was easier. There you go. Perfect. So that's that. Okay. Now, um, the other area for back pain that I would be applying these is going to be over here to the side. Okay. So, yeah, as he's pointing. So I got to do, find that middle button, push, and now they're on. Okay. And these are going to be way more sensitive than on the back because there's a lot more floof. I call it floof. A lot more tissue there. Okay. And then what you can do, because you get a chance to feel the buttons and you can tend to know where they're at, now we're going to go blind, okay? So you're going to see middle button, okay? Push the button. And I'm going to go underneath of his shorts. Oh, he's got compression shorts on. Right. So I'm going to go really deep, maybe. Nope, we're not going to be able to make it. So if you're doing this at home, swim trunks works yes. really, really well. He's got some... Uh, compression tights on underneath uh, helps with a lot of support in leg muscles and everywhere else. So if you are doing this at home, your tidy whities or swim trunks works really well or athletic shorts with no undies on underneath so that you can do this concealed without having to show off body parts. How does that feel? Feels good. Feels That's good. Yep. Now, um, we won't go for your butt, but we will go for an area where there's a lot of hair so people can see that. So we're going to go about right here, okay? And we're going to take that abilene, and a little goes a long way. So 
there's that. Turn on the cup. And there it is. So that's another area that we can work on loosening up uh, connective tissue as well as muscle that's stuck in order to take the pressure off of this up here. And that's on here. So, and it's on there, it's not going anywhere. And you are totally chilling out, feeling great. Yep. Good stuff. So I'm going to come over here in front and answer any questions you might have. Um, I'm going to send you this on an angle so you can see everything. How those boots feel, Jennifer? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm seeing any other comments, questions, thoughts, concerns. If you're just now joining, uh, we started a little about an hour and a half ago to show how this all works and we're kind of tying this up. I'm going to wait until he's done with a few more minutes and I want you to be able to see his response when he gets up because he came in with back pain. He's actually been trying to get on my schedule for a little while. My schedule has just been booked to capacity for a while. So this is a great way that he can utilize this type of treatment at home when he's trying to wait in between sessions for maintenance. Uh, Cause I'll tell you what, it is so much better when somebody works on you than when you're working on yourself. It's a totally different experience. So if you are waiting to get in with that, somebody special who really kind of knows how your body is wired and knows how to fix you, and you just can't get in soon enough, then this is an easy way to hack into your system to be able to provide treatment at home um, because you do not want to have to resort to pain pills and uh, turning away activities that truly make you happy because your body hurts. So we now have the resource to be able to do that from the convenience of home. Let's see what we got here. So I'll take that one off. And you got to see how we applied the hair. So that comes off and you can see that he's already got a mark there. So it doesn't take a lot of time for it to, to work. Ooh, now I'm going blind. There we go. So if you can find where the plug-in goes on the charge port, the button right above it. Okay, and then I'm gonna wipe your back down just a little bit. And then we'll have you stand up and do some movements just to see how you feel. Good stuff. Okay, go ahead and ease up. Remember, after you've had cupping done, you want to ease up nice and slow because your body is trying to feel and recalibrate. And let me step back a little bit so we can see all of you. Okay, what do you feel? Better. I mean, earlier I couldn't really stand up straight. Now he feels you know, tall. Here, yes, he was hunched. He is walked. He really walked in a little more? bit. He walked in a little bit like yes. this. <laughs> but yeah, it did help a bunch no more than we done. Good. Bend over, touch your toes. That's easier said than done. Good. What do you feel different? Still sore, but again, we went on there very long. Pain was um, out of a scale of ten. What the kind of pain did you have when you came in today? Six, seven. Okay, we got now. Five. Okay, it's so better. we knocked it down two or three notches yeah. without me having to do anything yeah. from a time standpoint. And I was able to work on both of you kind of at the same time. So if you are a professional and if you buy a lot of these, you can um, you can have you know a couple of different tables. You can leave them and walk away and come back and work some more mobilization. So there's a lot of different strategies. But for family and friends today is what it's all about, showing them how to use it on themselves after never having any cupping experience whatsoever, seeing something of this type for the first time is very intimidating because there's lots of buttons um, and you don't want to hurt yourself. So as you got to see, it took me less than two minutes to show them how the cupping mechanism works and where to position it. So again, if you have trouble and wondering how to position, where to position, how to fix certain ailments, aches and pains, that's what we're going to start out with this cupping series going forward. And um, next week, it'll be on Thursday, um, we will schedule for a live for you to see me working on an actual spinal scar. Um, Lucas's scar is about this long and um, 
He is a he's paralyzed from the waist down, um, and we're we're working on rearranging some of the hardware so he can walk. Um, he's already walked using his legs, so he doesn't have a spinal cord injury. He just has compression of the nerves and has a fracture uh, in his mid thoracic spine. So uh, Life Pro has been doing a lot of uh, different modalities with him um, in order to help him be able to maximize his therapy application and how he gets to enjoy his life. And so I'll show you next week with him how you can utilize um, the cupping uh, mechanism with relieve a cup for spinal fusion, scar release. Uh, it, it doesn't matter where the scar is, whether it's a, um, whether it is from an ACL or whether it is from a hip or whether it's spine in your low back or mid back um, C-section, we'll talk about all that. So I want to say thank you all today for being here today. Thank you for sharing your time with me. As you know, you can't buy money. Money cannot buy time back and it can't guarantee your health in the future. So um, be, be guarded of your time and your energy and whatever you can do to biohack into regeneration and restoration of your body from inflammatory levels and um, oxidative stress. You got to find ways to reduce that oxidative stress so that our brain works a lot better and we can live as long as possible. So thanks for being here today. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week.